smooth sailing too for John Peel, here on his way out to Radio London to spend two weeks in his perfumed garden. John, of course, is especially famed for being one of the founder members of the first cricket team of Texas. Known to all its 12 million listeners as Big L, Radio London had its studios and transmitting equipment below decks aboard the converted minesweeper Galaxy, moored three and a half miles off Frinton on the Essex coast. Wonderful Big L! The radio mast stands 212 feet high, that's 23 feet higher than Nelson's column, and is so powerful that Big L could even be heard in Sweden, Norway, Holland, Denmark, Germany, France and Italy, as well as most of Britain. DJ in the hot seat now is Mark Roman, one of the longest serving DJs on Big L. Funny, I know that guy from somewhere. Isn't he the one who's sometimes called a thin Bob Monkhouse? Huh? And here's Pete Drummond, known to all his fans as Dum Dum. Pete was once voted the top disc jockey of the state of Kansas and joined Radio London on his return to England in 1966. Broadcasting on 266 meters, Radio London came on the air in December 1964 and quickly established itself as the largest English-speaking independent radio station in the world. And with DJs from all over the world, the humor on board Big Hell was really zany, as you can see. John Pancake used to prepare some really great food, although at times his method of serving it was perhaps rather strange. Joking apart, John used to do everyone proud, always getting the meals ready on time for Mitch to serve up to the hungry DJs. Now then, Willie Walker, what's this? Reading fan mail at the table, huh? But then the DJs needed all the spare time they could get to try and reply to the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters arriving at Big L every week. Some were answered in writing, others over the air. <laughs> and here's Willie in his famous Bermuda shorts. A regular feature on Radio London has been the hourly newscasts. These were the responsibility of Paul Kay, one of the original team, and who in fact was the man who made the first ever broadcast on Big L. Brain Brandon. Hello, dear. The huge success of Big L has shown that there are many millions of people in Britain who like to know that at the flick of a switch they can listen to the current hit records of the latest and greatest pop sounds. For almost three years, Big L has supplied this type of program. So let's hope it won't be too long before Radio London is back again on the air.